All right, we are on to dividing rational expressions. So when you divide rational expressions, we're going to continue what we've already learned with simplifying and multiplying. And when you divide, you're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which you probably remember from when you learned about fractions earlier on. So once you flip and multiply, or multiply by the reciprocal, then you're going to factor and reduce and just multiply. And don't forget, you're going to simplify along the way. Simplify, simplify, simplify. We're always trying to simplify. Okay, so if I have um, my first example here of 2x over 15 divided by 4 over 5x, my first step is to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x over 15 times 5x over 4. Now what do I do next? I factor and reduce and then I multiply. So I see this fraction cannot reduce on its own, this fraction cannot reduce on its own, so I'm going to look on the diagonal numerator to denominator. So I see 2 and 4 are factors, so I'm going to reduce the 2 to a 1 and the 4 to a 2. And um, I can't really do anything else on that diagonal. And I see here 15 and 5 are factors. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Um, and there's really nothing else I can reduce. So I'm going to just multiply. So in the numerator here, I've got x. In the numerator here, I have an x. x times x is x squared. And in the denominator, I have a 3 and a 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So that would be my final answer. Let's do another one. This one's a little bit more complicated. So I have a quadratic, and I have a difference of squares, and I have a cubic. So remember, you want to try to factor and reduce and multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm just going to rewrite this as x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x squared times the reciprocal x cubed plus x squared over x squared minus 4. Okay, so this quadratic here, I'm going to see if I can factor it. So I'm looking for the numbers that multiply to 6 and add to 5. So 6 times 1 is going to make 7. 2 times 3 is going to make 5. And because both signs are addition, I know in my factors both sides are going to be addition. So I'm going to rewrite this as x plus 2 times x plus 3. Um, also a reminder, x squared cannot cross off because x squared is attached with a plus sign, so I can't just cross that part off. So in the denominator, I'm still going to have x squared, and I have multiplied by, now in this numerator, I see a greatest common factor of x squared. So I'm going to factor that out in this numerator. So if I take x squared out of x cubed, I'm left with x. If I factor out x squared from x squared, I'm left with 1. And in the denominator, I have difference of squares. So x squared is perfect square, so I know I can have an x in both groups. And then 4 is a perfect square, so I'm going to have a 2 in both groups. And I do a minus and a plus. Now I'm looking to, so I um, flipped it to multiply by the reciprocal. And now I am factoring out, step number 2, I'm factoring out. So now I want to see if I can reduce. So I can look the first fraction, second fraction, it doesn't look like I can factor anything out. So what I could do is look on the diagonals. So this one I see the x squared is attached through multiplication, so that can factor out. And then on this diagonal I can see the x plus 2 and the x plus 2 factors out. So that's really a 1. I should probably write a 1. So there's nothing else I can cross off. So this would um, go to x plus 3 times x plus 1 over x minus 2. Now typically what you do for your final answer is you end up with a multiplied out numerator over a factored denominator. That's sort of the preferred math format. So in order to do that I'm going to have to FOIL. So I'm going to have to do my work over here on the side. I'm running out of space. So I have x times x is x squared. Let's do it up here. So if I have x times x, I get x squared. And then if I have plus 3 times x, I get plus 3x. 
and then I have an x and a plus 1, so that's plus x, and then 3 and 1 is plus 3 over x minus 2, and if I can combine my like terms, I'll get x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x minus 2, and that would be my final answer. So when you are dividing rational expressions, the important thing is to remember to flip and multiply. So you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Um, but you can't forget all of those simplifying tricks. You want a greatest common factor. You want to factor quadratics. Only cross out factors, not terms. Uh, look for difference of squares. Look for a greatest common factor. And um, our preferred format for all answers is if you can multiply the numerator and factor the denominator. So uh, my final answer here would be x squared plus 4x plus 3 all over the quantity x minus 2. So now you're going to try uh, part C with practicing dividing and simplifying rational expressions.